Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from asortofinterestinglife.com and hold on tight everybody because we're about to cross over the Ponca Suffley Aqueduct. It's just over a thousand feet long as you can see it stretching ahead there and it is also 126 foot high which is the more terrifying part as you can see on the right hand side here as we're about to cross over there's no railing or siding so hold on tight like I say and don't look down. I've got two separate crossings of the aqueduct here in this video that I've taken the best footage from each to hopefully give you a nice overall look at it. The crossing that you just saw then was obviously a nice empty aqueduct in front of us. This crossing though, as you can see here, there were boats all over the place and we actually were stuck in a traffic jam that was moving so slow we came to a complete standstill I think four separate times while on the aqueduct itself and that's definitely an interesting experience. Personally I don't think it's necessarily that scary because there's no railings at all but more the fact that the actual side of the aqueduct you can see here is so low even next to the boats that are already sat a little way in the water. In a moment we'll have a look at some footage I took from inside the boat itself where I'm looking out through the windows over at the valley and because of the low sides you quite literally can't see any actual sign that we're on an aqueduct and it's almost the sort of view you might expect out of a small plane window or something like that. I always find it weird when I've got the GoPro footage that you're seeing here the fish eye lens seems to make everything look really fast. I've got a water level boat trip video to post at some point that I filmed a couple of months ago now and that's the same effect of having the fish eye lens right next to the water. It makes it look like you're travelling right 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Obviously that's an exaggeration. But, as I say with a lot of these videos, I like to just try and post as much random footage. You can see here that we've come to an almost a complete standstill. And I like to post as much of this footage as I can and just generally share it with the world, see what people think. You can see we've got the football pitch on that side here, just before these trees. The other side of the trees is the truly sort of scenic part. The valley up one way and the little river going the other. Things are admittedly a lot less scenic on the other side, on the actual walking side, where there's a sewage works or something of that nature just by where the uh, football pitch is. So hopefully nobody kicks the ball too hard because I don't fancy fishing that out for him. I absolutely love this view when I'm walking, when I'm biking or whatever. Just that view over the river there and down onto the bridge. Just absolutely classic. I cannot tell you how many times before I ever even imagined having a boat or living on a boat or anything like that. I would be up and down here walking to Langoflin and then disappearing up into the hills on my bike or whatever. And just this part here in particular, it's just fantastic. Well, as you've probably guessed from just the way I'm talking about it in my endlessly uh, over-the-top way, I do really love bits and pieces like this. And again, what a fantastic sight it is to have just this, literally, on the doorstep. Although you definitely don't want to step off the wrong side of the boat on there. So... As we take our last moments on the aqueduct and savour the experience, I will say thank you very much for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads of boat life and all sorts of scenery and things like this. Feel free to subscribe because I try and post at least one new boat video every week and a biking video and goodness knows what else. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter and like the Facebook page for loads of photos and general updates from Life Afloat. And of course, please do consider checking out my books available for the Kindle. Search Amazon for The Narrowboat Lad or find links to everything just mentioned in the description below. Until the next time, keep it boat worthy and farewell.